Some plants like this rose in the container and my strawberry plants have been with me for 3 to 4 years. Whenever I see them come back to life, I know it's time to get started for the year. It has become some sort of a mental clock for me to grab my gloves and really get moving. After the cold, dark days, you know how it is, I needed a boost to get started and with spring around the corner, I'll be tackling some tasks today to build momentum for the new season. Without much delay, let's get into the video. Usually I take two or three days a month where I really focus on gardening. It really depends on the month and how much I have to get done in the garden. And on such days, I start by jotting down the things to get done. This helps me focus on what needs to be done and keeps me on track considering how important timing is while growing vegetables and flowers. Today is such a day and I am sticking to my routine of listing the to-dos I want to accomplish for the day. Since it's February, there aren't many things to do in my garden, but I really wanted to get started. Now I have an idea what to do today. Let's go to the garden. First thing I have to get done is to remove all the dead plants I couldn't remove before winter started, such as my nasturtiums, marigolds, dead flowers and cosmos. They were all stunning during last summer and stayed that way until December. I'm determined to grow more flowers this year. Next, let us check what is happening in my square foot garden bed. There are still some veggies growing here and there that I started from seeds last year. And this surprised me. There is a beautiful cabbage that's ready to get harvested. They were planted last summer. The growth was pretty slow, but they made it. Survived winter and here is a beautiful cabbage. Brassicas like cabbage, broccoli can survive mild winters. I'm going to plant more brassicas this summer for an early harvest next spring. Let me also show you what else is growing in the garden. There is a kale that is growing there, some garlic, actually I planted garlic in every bed, spinach that were sown in the autumn and some Swiss chard. There are also some flower bulbs that are slowly coming back to life. I'm going to move the spinach and the Swiss chard to the first bed where the kale is growing and cover them with a fleece so that they get some protection from the cold and winds. Now the bed looks more occupied and colourful. I hope they survive the transplant. Let us cover them with a the fleece. Let's take a peep into my raised beds. There are some weeds growing here and there in the raised bed and containers. I'll be removing them. By the way, there are also some crops growing in the raised bed like lettuce, spinach, coriander. I didn't know coriander could survive winters, but they did. I'll cover this raised bed as well with a fleece. As a next step, I'm taking some measurement of this area because I want to grow more crops and flowers here and make it pretty. Next, let us take a look on my compost pile and give it a turn if needed. Here are some bulbs that have sprouted in the compost, so I'll be transplanting them to another bed. I started this batch in November by mixing the Bokashi fermented kitchen waste with the soil. I see that there is a lot more to break down so I'll give it a turn and give some aeration. In winters, composting is slower since temperatures are low and we don't aerate the compost pile as much as we do in summers.
Next, I'm going to collect all the seed labels from the garden beds from the last year's gardening because it's time to sow seeds. So I'm going to clean all this, remove the old writings so that we can use it for the new season. If you want to know how to clean these labels, I put a video some days back. You can check them. I'll link it here. Next task would be to sow some seeds. We need to start sowing seeds right from February onwards to get that head start since sudden veggies need a long time to mature and produce fruits. You can watch what to sow in Feb and March videos on my channel. I'll provide a link in the info box and in the description below. I've also made a sewing calendar for you all. You can download it for free. For a constant and a stable harvest from the garden, some planning is required, especially when you live in a country with winters. So I'm planning the garden for this year, what I want to grow, how much space I have, and what I want to try new this year, and where the crops need to be planted. If you want to plan out your garden too, I have some videos that could help you. Do check them out. Link will be in the description below. The most satisfying part of a workday is striking off all the to-dos that we got done. This was just a compilation of a day in my garden, doing some garden stuffs. Hope it gave you also some motivation to get started. Thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of the day. Take care and bye.